Hello and welcome again to one of hopefully your favorite YouTube personalities, the one, the only Hobo Tom. I'm here to talk about some SmackDown because this was the last TV show until WrestleMania. WrestleMania is going to be really interesting. And I still don't have any clue as to what the card is really going to entail other than some key matches. So keeping things really close to the vest because I have no idea what's happening with the Raw Tag Team Championship. I've heard rumors about it, though. Those are just rumors. The idle speculation. So I'm not too sure what's going on with that. The SmackDown titles are going to be defended. Asuka stood tall today. But we'll get into that, though. And you know what? We might as well just jump into things. Um, I do want to shout out to one of my friends, uh, Chris Hanicki. Um, well, do I have a new gift? Oh, that's right. This air guitar goes out to you, buddy. The reason I say that is that he is one of, I think they were in Baltimore. I don't think they were in Washington, D.C. Baltimore is right near it, though, I think. I forget if they were in Washington, D.C. or Baltimore, though. I, f I forget. I just wanted to give him a shout out. So that air guitar solo goes out to him. I still have another gift I have to make. Shoot. The dirty pen. I wanted to salute Baltimore's finest zone, and mainly him. I think he's on the force there. So, but with that said, if he was lucky, maybe he was the one that gave Becky Lynch a ride to the arena. Props to him. So, but let's talk about SmackDown. SmackDown was really interesting. Um, it was a good show. There was nothing really bad on it. There wasn't anything spectacular, though. It just seemed really... It's a consistent, fun product. And it made the... Tell you what, that's a quick two hours. Because Raw, you hit that... That Raw zone. At a... Like... From hours 9 to 10. Where it's just a slog to go through sometimes. It's so long. Smackdown's a lot quicker though. So let's start off the show. And we start off with a very dapper looking Kevin Owens. Maybe I'll do that for my one show. I have enough jackets I haven't worn in a while. So no one wants to hire me. But that's a whole other issue. Um, Kevin Owens looks after He starts off the show. He starts off the Kevin Owens show. He announces Randy Orton and AJ Styles. And lo and behold, there's a table there. Whenever there's a table there. I'm sorry, I had a little scratch. Whenever there is a table involved, said table's going to be used. 
And it did not disappoint. Um, AJ Styles. <laughs> this was fun. AJ Styles said, you know what? I might, have, I, I, I might have been wrestling in bingo hell, halls. I never was in WrestleMania. I never failed any drug tests either, though. Oh! Of course, Randy Orton just, just, just calls AJ a bitch. They like to use that word now. The B word. I think they're slacking. I think the censors are slacking. Although I forgot to mention this. Um... Because it is live, if you watch the USA Network, I think there was a flash of Scott Dawson's butt crack. And that's just funny. It's, it's, it's no thank you, Lana. Listen, it's no thank you, Lana moment. It's just funny, though. Any wardrobe mail after that, 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 that Sasha botch. Match. I don't know. But of course, the two of them just start to brawl. Kevin Owens is a smart host, though. Unlike The Miz, who would always get involved in the brawls, Kevin Owens takes a hike. He leaves. So he's smart. Um, so the two of them just brawl. Randy Orton catches AJ coming off the top rope for the Phenomenal Forum and the RKO. And that kind of ends that brawl. So it was fun. Um, the next match, the first match, the next segment we have is Alistair Black, Ricochet, and the Usos take on The Bar, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Rusev. This was really good. Ricochet starts off. So good as Ricochet. So much flippy, flippy stuff. Flippy, flippy, flippy shit. Flippy stuff. Flippy stuff. I forget YouTube's policy on saying the, uh, the other S word. Um, it was good though. Eventually, and that happened when when the bar were in the ring. The tag. Um, Alistair Black has some good looking kicks. He knocked the Sheamus around pretty good with those kicks. Um, then Shinsuke got involved. And then the Usos got involved. The Usos can take a bump. They they made this match interesting. It's not ooh, not so much one sided. But it was really good though. Shinsuke is such a strong striker. I'd want to see a match between Alistair Black and Shinsuke Nakamura. That would be fun. Um, the Usos they, they just got beat up a little bit again by Shinsuke and Rusev. They'll be. So, uh, that was Jay that was getting beat up a little bit. Um, he eventually tags his brother Jimmy in, and then just turns to super kick party. Uh, I guess I can say that. I don't know. They're they're not gonna sue me. They're gonna get they're gonna get this coupon. We want your coupon price for what is that for? Oh, Oreos. Probably the only thing I could really give them. I have to save the nail polish coupon for a special someone for Easter. For her Easter gift. Someone's getting Easter goodies. Oh, well, I'll get to that later. I think my Easter is going to be canceled by corporate Tom, though. But again, Jimmy Uso comes in, um, starts the super kick. Um, again, every wrestler kind of gets their spot in then after this. There's a double super kick. And the Usos pick up the win. And with that win, of course, they wear the tag belts around their neck. Because that's, I guess, a very hood-like thing to do. And this was, a, again, a really fun match. These teams, they have so much chemistry. They work well when it's... when It, it, it makes you think, it's like, is that a botch? Or is, are they really going at it, though? I mean, it has that fight feel to it. It has that, it has that pure competition feel. So, again, this was, a, again, a fun match. Um, it's a surf and turf match. With some implications. Because Alexa Bliss comes out. Says, you know what? Since SmackDown's the place of competition, the four of you, 
they're going to fight in the WrestleMania for the SmackDown Tag Team Belts. So that will be interesting. So, I, so again, I'm not going to do my predictions probably until Thursday. Only because I still have no idea what's going on there. So from there, you have the Iconics promo. Yeah, they're fun. <laughs> they're cute together. Then you have you know, Becca, Charlotte, and Ronda Rousey recap. That was awesome. Again, I gave him a shout out because because he might have been one of those police officers involved. Well, that's the Washington, D.C. area. He's a boss from a cop. He might have given Becky the ride back. Again, that would be cool. Then you have in a handicap match, Miz versus Sanity. And this is the down point of the whole thing. It was fun and stuff, and just as a tease, this was a false count anywhere. And I feel bad for Sandy. They're being treated to the jobbers, to the superstars. Because there's no way three big guys, Eric Wolf, or Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, and Killian Dane, big demo, The three of them against one Miz. Three. One. Three. One. The three should always win. Because they've been a tag team for a while. They should definitely have the upper hand against just one guy. Granted, it was a false count anywhere. Miz kind of beat them up all over the arena, um, threw Big Demo into like a fuse panel, put Eric Young through a electronics table, um, threw Eric Young into some production thing and ran another production thing into him, and picked up the win outside, and it, it was you know it was a false count anywhere match. At least the Miz used his environment to get his advantage. Hard to argue with that. So this was a ham sandwich match. Then the cop car pulls up. And now stuff Becky Lynch and she thanks the officer for the ride. <laughs> Becky Lynch is Becky Lynch is awesome. Comes in, cuts a promo. Um, Corey Graves is in the ring. She's like, nah, I don't want anything of this. She stands on the table, points to the, points to the sign. Yes, WrestleMania. So again, I'll get into my predictions. They're going to have dueling predictions too. So that should be interesting. Then there was a super schmoz. Because they just took everyone who doesn't have a formal match in WrestleMania, put them into an 18 person mixed tag. Match. And I know I'm missing, I know I'm missing people already. Let's see if I can get this right. <laughs> that would be impressive. Nikki Cross, uh, for, for the face, it's, it's a heel versus face dynamic. So it's kind of that. So it's Nikki Cross, Matt and Jeff Hardy, Asuka, Heavy Machinery, Naomi, Carmella, and our truth. Oh wow, I got all this line right. Well, let's see if I can remember the heels. They did this super quick. And this was an intergender 18 person mixed tag match. Convolution. The club. Andrade. Dean Almas. Selena Vega. 
Shelton Benjamin. Mandy Rose. Boo Sonya Deville. EC3. And I'm forgetting one of the, one of the heels. Again, if you want to, you can leave a comment saying, Hobo Tom, you're a fat bastard. Get your facts straight. And say this person was, was the ninth person. I counted only eight, though. Forget. Oh, wait, Club? Andrade Cienal. Lena Vega, Shelton Benjamin, EC3, Mandy Rose, and Boo Sonya Deville. I'm still forgetting one. I forget who that ninth person was. It's weird. Well, besides all that stuff, it starts off as your basic Super mixed multi person tag match. Fairly organized. And then it just entirely broke down. Broke down into an over the top battle royal. There were some key things. Um, one, <laughs> I have the funniest thing. Uh, was it? It was <laughs> Otis Tosevich. Was facing off against Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose wanted nothing to do with that. She just jumped over the top rope. She's like, I'm done. I'm done. Mandy Rose is the size of one of Otis. This is, is the weight wise of Otis Dozovich's legs alone. Otis Dozovich might have bigger thighs. Then Mandy Rose waste. Yeah, that's the part. Not other parts. But um, then <laughs> he sees me in the ring. <laughs> Asuka just kicks him in the head. Oh, so good. Uh, who else was there? It was um. <laughs> Nikki Cross and Sheldon Benjamin. Sheldon Benjamin just eliminated himself, too. So that was really good. It was fun. Asuka, I guess, won and stood tall. So I guess her team won, too. The faces won. Asuka stood tall. It was just fun. And honestly, if it's fun, I had a smile on my face. It's a ham sandwich. The only reason it's a ham sandwich and nothing higher, it was just all in out ridiculous. Yeah. So, it is what it was. I hope this is a tease to some intergender matches. Again, if you take a look at the way TNA, Ring of Honor, Wrestling Gorilla, to some aspects, if you take a look at older New Japan Pro Wrestling, or was it All Japan Wrestling? It can work. Nikki Cross could make such an entertaining match only because of she's crazy versus a more stoic EC3. Again, Mandy Andy Rose looked terrified. Just imagine Mandy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville versus Heavy Machinery. That could be Yano level comedy gold. Oh, wow. 
Yano level comedy matches in the WWE. Wow. That'd be... Um, so then moved on to a match between Mustafa Ali versus Samoa Joe. Joe, when he's focused and not being overly arrogant or cocky, he's 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 focused. He's strong, he's to the point. Very wasted movement. Um, so strong, though, in his strikes. So good, though. So vicious. I like that. Vicious. And Mustafa Ali, he had his moments. He was not meant to be because he tried an 054. I think Joe caught him in the coquina clutch. Cheeseburger match really showcased Joe, made Joe look strong. That's good going into this match. This was a good match. It was a good quality cheeseburger match. And the final segment was the contract signing between Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston. Again, there was a table there involved. It was a little more formal. The crowd just would not be quiet. The crowd loves Kofi Kingston. I like Kofi Kingston. Kofi, Kofi, Kofi Mania. Kofi Mania. The crowd got loud for this. And I know I think in listening from things from Raw, the crowd was really quiet for Raw. For some reason, they get a little more ruckus when they get when they come to SmackDown, though. Daniel Bryan, again, amazing heel work. And just told the crowd, you're going to let... Just don't idly sit by. And live vicariously through this individual. Because you're all fickle! I don't think he said that. That's pretty cool. And that was SmackDown. So again, a really fun, quick show. Um, I'm looking at my calendar because I'm trying to think of what's going to happen. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll actually probably get this video posted tonight. So I don't have to wake up. It'll be early tomorrow. But I know of. So tomorrow I'm probably going to take off a little bit. Shanti. De-stress because Thursday is going to be predictions. Depending how work goes, I'm either going to do a live stream or if it's or if work goes the way it's supposed to go. Friday night, I'm going to have a reaction video for take for takeover, NXT Takeover Brooklyn. And then Saturday. I'm gonna, going to live stream, do an RR and R show for New Japan Ring of Honor Supercar of Honor. And then Sunday, I'm going to probably miss the first one or two matches of WrestleMania. That's okay, there's a lot of them. And probably the whole pre show. But I'll do another live stream. Probably about 8 o'clock for WrestleMania. It's actually probably tomorrow after I get my taxes done. I have to make gee, three wrestling cards. The next week there's going to be more wrestling. Because it's going to be Monday Night Raw, Tuesday SmackDown. And then probably Saturday... I think I'm supposed to have off, and I might not be fishing. On Saturday, I'll go to NXT in, back in Stanford. So it'll be the first NXT after WrestleMania. That should be interesting. And I'll, of course, always post videos about that. And then I might even... Wow, I've done a lot of wrestling stuff. So next week, there's actually one, two, three... Four shows. Then one, two, three, four. Wow, a lot of wrestling, folks. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye.